Twitch has become best known at this point for basically running their business unlike any other content hosting platform. Whether we're talking about the forever mysterious banning principles that apply to some people but not to others, or about the enigma of how when Ninja left the platform, his channel strangely started streaming porn of all things. Or most recently, and perhaps the biggest mystery of all, how one of their most prominent streamers and at one point the face of Twitch got taken off the platform entirely without recourse or public explanation. It's been over a month since Dr. Disrespect has been permanently banned by Twitch, and to this day Day, nobody knows exactly why. So today I want to take a look at what the reason behind it might have been, but more importantly, what this move means for Twitch as well as for the doctor himself. <laughs> If you've had any contact with the world of Twitch, you must have at least heard the name Dr. Disrespect. The iconic combination of the wig, mustache, and sunglasses is a trademark that undoubtedly stands out. However, most people watching this video probably don't know much about the person behind the mustache. So before we even touch on the current situation, we have to go back and explore who is Dr. Disrespect, or by his real name, Herschel Guy Beam the Fourth. Not gonna lie, I wish I had the fourth next to my name. Guy was as regular as a guy could be. He was tall, he played basketball in college, in fact he was pretty good at it, but he was also passionate about video games. He discovered his passion for gaming with Halo 1, and when Halo 2 came out, with the added benefit of playing online and being able to talk to other players in the game, he sort of created a reputation for himself as a very entertaining trash talker. And through this habit of talking trash on Halo 2, he developed the character of The Doctor. He started uploading Call of Duty videos to YouTube in January of 2010. And this is when the character started to develop a life of its own. The voice now had a face attached to it, and it was as far as possible away from the stereotype of the overweight gamer kid playing in his mom's basement. The doctor was tall, athletic, menacing, and most importantly, he was absolutely dominating in the games he played. Throughout that first year, Dr. Disrespect had gained a lot of momentum. He started working with Machinima, and by all accounts, it looked like he had all the potential of becoming a heavy name on the platform, until he decided to quit. In February of 2011, Guy Beam took off the wig and sunglasses to start a new job as a community manager for Sledgehammer Games, the developer responsible for some of the Call of Duty titles. Before long, he was promoted to level designer on Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, and for a few years, the doc took a back seat and waited. Until September of 2015, when the dormant doctor opened his eyes once again. In the approximately five years that he had missed, a lot had happened, and the competition was now at a completely new level. But through creativity, determination, and innovative streaming techniques, Dr. Disrespect became an unstoppable force. By the end of 2017, he had risen to a level where, for a good while, he kept duking it out with Shroud for the crown as the number one streamer on Twitch. That is, of course, until Ninja showed up to the party with Drake by his his arm and change the rules of the game entirely, but that's another story in itself. Since then, Dr. Disrespect has won multiple awards and has continued to stand out as one of the most creative, innovative, and hardworking streamers on the gaming scene. Until, all of a sudden, on June 26, 2020, out of nowhere, Twitch decided to permanently ban Dr. Disrespect off of their platform. One thing to note about Twitch is that keeping up with who's the top dog is not as easy as it is on YouTube. Because of the exclusively live content and the limited amount of hours in a day viewers can spare watching their favorite streamer, the lines are somewhat blurred and ever-changing. Based on what variables you're judging by, followers, hours watched, paid subscriptions, the top 10 will always come out different. But Dr. Disrespect has without a doubt consistently been a contender among the, let's say, top 3 to 5 streamers in the past couple of years. This is also reflected in the highly produced announcement video in March when Dr. Disrespect was signed exclusively to Twitch for a multi-year deal probably worth millions of dollars. And in the context of massive streamers like Ninja and Shroud choosing to leave Twitch in 2019, the move to permanently ban Dr. Disrespect just three months after they signed him exclusively makes no sense whatsoever. Especially when Dr. Disrespect himself claimed Twitch had not even notified him of the specific reason behind the permanent ban. To make things even more perplexing, 
fixing. Everyone who had an ongoing paid subscription to his channel was refunded and his emotes were terminated. So there was no doubt at all that he had been shut off from Twitch for good. Now this of course has spawned a multitude of conspiracy theories. One of the first rumors that spread around immediately after the ban was that Dr. Disrespect was planning on starting his own streaming service with Ninja and Shroud who had just become free agents after the demise of Mixer. And the thing that added fuel to the fire was a small Twitter account of a new streaming startup called Prime, which was at that point only following four accounts. Twitter Gaming and the three streamers in question, Ninja, Shroud and Dr. Disrespect. Although this was debunked pretty quickly, the Prime account grew from nothing to almost 90,000 followers overnight. So if anything, it was the perfect publicity stunt for Prime, but it had nothing to do with Dr. Disrespect. Prime's fortune didn't last long either, by the way. People have apparently had a horrible experience with them as they launched their website, but this opened even more questions than before. If it wasn't for starting a Twitch competitor, and if it wasn't for DMCA infringement, which was also a theory that got debunked pretty quickly, what did Dr. Disrespect do to warrant such a drastic measure? Well, there was another lead on Reddit, where a supposed Twitch HR staff member anonymously claimed that Dr. Disrespect had an affair with a major female Twitch streamer who was now strong-arming Twitch to get a better deal for herself, otherwise she would go public. The implication here being that Twitch decided to drop Dr. Disrespect to keep this female streamer happy. Now, as tempting as it might be for a lot of people generally unhappy with Twitch, to draw a link perhaps to a particular cat-wielding female streamer, it's much more likely that this was just someone looking to stir the pot in a moment of complete chaos. So although this theory hasn't exactly been debunked, it doesn't hold much water. The crazy thing is, a lot of people with connections in the industry have come out and said that Dr. Disrespect was done for good. Rod Breslau, aka Slasher, who is generally a very reliable insider source in the world of esports, tweeted that he's heard from credible sources why Dr. Disrespect was banned, but because of the sensitivity around the subject, he didn't feel comfortable sharing it publicly. Additionally, a streamer named Shannon Z. Killer, who at one point also worked as an admin and community manager of education at Twitch, tweeted out, From my own sources, Doc is indeed done. And not just on Twitch. I know why and I cannot say, but this is serious. <laughs> So with all the speculation and all these claims that it's a really serious thing, how come there's no public information about it a month out from the permanent ban? How serious could this possibly be? Is it a sexual misconduct allegation? Because I feel like if that were the case, something would have come out by now, considering that hundreds of other streamers have recently found themselves in this type of entanglement, if you will. Why would Dr. Disrespect be the only case where the supposed allegations haven't been made public? Is it more than misconduct allegations? If that that's the case, I feel like the authorities would have gotten involved by now. And since they haven't, that seems unlikely. The fact that Dr. Disrespect has recently come out announcing his return independently from Twitch suggests that he is confident enough to show his face again in public. If he knew that he did something that's so wrong that his career was over, I don't think he would announce his return at all. He would probably go into hiding until things settled down. He's also recently given an interview talking about potentially suing Twitch, so clearly there must be some kind of injustice from Twitch's part over there. What we know for a fact is that this cannot possibly be a publicity stunt. The permanent ban, the refunds, the danger of hurting the brand that is Dr. Disrespect, as well as the public image of Twitch as a platform, the implications of this entire mystery that's been going on for over a month now are far too delicate for it to be an act. There is a possibility that when more information is revealed, fans of Dr. Disrespect will no longer support him. But it's equally possible that Twitch has made a huge mistake, and if that's proven to be the case, Case, then that's going to be great news for Dr. Disrespect, because he will be a free agent and the entire thing will have made him the underdog. Searches for Dr. Disrespect have skyrocketed in the past month. A lot of people want to know what happened, and if he comes out the other end unscathed, then his comeback will probably be one of the biggest events in live streaming and esports culture in a long time. But until then, I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see what happens. What are your thoughts on this situation? Because there's so much mystery revolving around this topic. There's stuff that I couldn't even fix into this one video because there's so much speculation out there and it's just mind-boggling that so much time has passed and people are somehow even more confused than they were when things first started to develop. Is there a particular theory that you think is more credible than the others? And just in general, what do you think the future holds for Dr. Disrespect? Let me know all of your thoughts down in the comments below. If you have any suggestions of topics you'd like us to dive into, also let me know in the comments. Wilfer and I will investigate and come back here to unveil all of our findings as we always do. In the meantime, thank you for watching and we'll see you again very soon.
whoa, 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 hold on for a second. What are you doing? Did you just go left, right, left? <laughs> what are you talking about? We always go right, left, right. You can't just switch it up whenever you feel like it. <laughs> Damn it, Wilfer. Pay attention this time, all right?